Long ago, amongst the towering peaks that would one day form the border between Cambodia and South Vietnam, a young and beautiful woman searched for love and found it. Unfortunately, the love that she found was that of a warrior at a time when war was soon to come. The war raged on and on and took its toll like it always does. Youth faded, and with it so did hope. Until one day the woman heard a story about a goddess whose statue grew from the side of a mountain. With renewed faith and love in her heart, she made the plea to the goddess for her husband's return. If whether by coincidence or divine intervention, peace came upon the land and the lovers were reunited. To show gratitude to the goddess, a three-day festival was held and a temple was built. The temple still stands and the festival is still held to this very day. This is the time that I thought we were going to the temple to see the goddess, but instead there was much more. Okay, so it's early morning here in Vietnam, and it's about a four-hour journey to go to Cho Dot, Vietnam from our hometown. Uh, what is the name of the temple that we're going? Ba Chu Sư Temple. Ba Chu Sư Temple. Ba Chu Sư. Ba Chu Sư. Well, I'll get it right before the end of the video. So we stopped off here to get some seafood because what's a road trip to see a goddess without stopping off and getting some good seafood? Morning. Good? So awesome. Cá kèo. Cá kèo. <laughs> uh, yeah. So they actually want us to wear masks here, which most places do not have you wear masks anymore, but that's okay. So how long has Ma and Ba been coming to see Ba too soon? Every year. Every year for how long? Like, when did they hear about it? They hear from uh, my mom hear from her mom. <laughs> <laughs> and where's her my mom here? <laughs> did that? His father hear from his father, his mother. <laughs> his mother. And they heard it from their mother? <laughs> yeah. Wow, so a long time, every year, basically yeah. all their life. So this goddess is really well known for answering prayers, but she's also well known for, I guess, vengeance would be the word, because if she gives you what you ask for, then you're supposed to return annually for nine years, I think, if you're a man, or seven if you're a woman. Since I won't be able to do that, I probably will not ask for anything. Not to say I necessarily believe in a lot of this stuff, but I'm also OCD, and you know, I'm just not gonna take the risk. Oh, but that reminds me that uh, you should like and subscribe this video or you'll get seven years of bad luck. Huh? I'm a little bit beyond disappointed because we came all this way to see the goddess. I'm not able to share her with you because they do not want you to take video inside, or at least not close up. That's a little bit on the disappointing side because I really wanted to uh, share this experience, but we are going to go to another temple. It's up on a mountain. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful, and I can share that with you. As you make your ascent up the mountain, the views are absolutely spectacular. One of the best things about travel is even when it doesn't go the way that you would expect it to go, or maybe even the way that you hoped it would go, sometimes it turns out even better. And what is the name of this temple? Uh, Chua Hang Temple. Chua Hang Temple. And this temple has some of the most beautiful views that I've ever seen. 
and it really gives me a sense of peace and I'm grateful that it didn't work out the way that I hoped it would because this is just so much better. So my recommendation is you just go wherever you wanna go and don't let anything get you down because sometimes it's gonna turn out better than you could have possibly imagined.